Hi, I'm Noel. Um, I'm a coach and I'm a psychotherapist. Um, welcome to my video blog. It's good to have you here. I um, hope you come back again. Uh, do subscribe while you're here. Um, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, there'll be a link on the video itself. Um, and if you're watching this on embedded into my website, there's a blue link above um, saying email details. Just click on that, a pop-up comes up, you can enter your details. Um, brief video to go today with the blog on um, thinking about self-esteem issues. Um, here's a little trick around self-esteem. Uh, it's about doing esteemable things. So if you do the right thing, it's an old sort of um, common sense technique. If you do the right thing, you're going to have high self-esteem. If you don't do the wrong thing, um, you're going to undermine your self-esteem. There are some cognitive tricks um, that you can get hold of as well, um, which aren't necessarily action-based, such as that. Um, but having a strong sort of ethical and moral compass in your life will help you a lot, and then following that. Um, so some of the sorts of cognitive techniques, the thinking techniques you can do, is to sort of humanise the sort of comparisons that you might make um, with other people. I don't know if you've had, heard the term, but it's a useful one, compare and despair. So if you compare yourself to somebody, um, you will often find yourself lacking or indeed um, find them lacking. It's not realistic, so if you humanise the comparison rather than sort of set up ideals in that way, um, you're, you're much likely to come out of it feeling a lot better. So if there's somebody at work that you think is more successful than you, um, if you can get to know them a little bit or even imaginatively get to know them, um, you'll understand that they have their own issues and problems. If you humanise that, um, you're going to come off a lot better in the comparison. Same if you demonise somebody. Um, you, it won't give you great self-esteem if you put somebody down. Um, because being on a pedestal, whether you place yourself there or somebody else, is a very precarious place. It's not a solid foundation. Self-esteem is a very solid thing to do. Um, so that's one trick. You can look at uh, what we call in meditation the observer self, for example. Um, so if you do some meditation, you'll know what I mean, particularly if you do mindfulness, the capacity to observe oneself and one's thinking, one's emotions, and uh, not attach too strongly to any particular thought or feeling. Again, if you can do that and t take a step back from yourself, you can sort of begin to humanise yourself and understand that the feelings that you associate with low self-esteem will come and go, like any other emotional state, um, they come and go. Um, and some other things that you can think about is um, challenging some of your negative self-talk, for example, with uh, an assertive response, um, which um, challenges some, some of the old tapes maybe in your head. If you have a history of being undermined by somebody in work or in a personal relationship, that element of your, that aspect of your functioning in your relationship may come back at times. Uh, but you can be assertive with that and um, put it in its place and have a, a conversation with it um, so that you're not sort of generalising and personalising um, any of the sort of human faults that we all have and that you will have and I will have uh, and not turning those into things that you're stuck with and are, are chains in your life. I hope that's useful to think about. Um, if you need more time to think about it, um, uh, any help around these things, do get in touch. My um, contact details are on the video. I just want to wish you um, a very happy and healthy 2015. Thanks for dropping by. Bye-bye.